हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय न्यू लेक्चर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ नेचुरल कन्वेक्शन लेट्स रीड द प्रॉब्लम केयरफुली अंडरस्टैंड इट एंड देन ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट ओके ऑयल टैंक इज मेंटेन्ड एट 35 डिग्री सेल्सियस बाय मींस ऑफ स्टीम कंडेंसिंग पाइप हियर आई शुड इट शुड मेंशन दैट इट्स अ पाइप सो ऑयल टैंक इज मेंटेन्ड एट 35 डिग्री सेल्सियस बाय स्टीम कंडेंसिंग पाइप ऑफ 3.5 सेंटीमीटर डायमीटर ट्यूब immersed in a tank so i have to consider there is one tank let me draw one tank is present over here let's consider this is the tank i am drawing okay so this is the tank which is uh, asked in the problem that oil tank and in that what is present is the oil let's consider it has an oil into this one so let me draw the oil also so this is the oil which i am showing symbolically okay so the tank has an oil inside that tank has an oil inside that okay maintained at 35 degrees celsius so what is oil temperature oil temperature is 35 degrees celsius it is given to you 35 degrees celsius by means of steam condensing pipe of 3.5 cm diameter so it will have one pipe let me draw one pipe over here let's consider that this is the pipeline which is described in the problem this is the pipeline whose diameter is given to you how much 3.5 cm so this is of dimension of 3.5 cm we know all dimension we take in meter so divide by 100 so after dividing by 100 so it will become 0 0.035 meter that is that is the diameter given and inside this particular tube what we are having is the steam inside this what we are having is the steam because they have told steam condensing pipe of 3.5 cm diameter immersed in a tank the steam maintain surface temperature of steam pipe once again here i must write the steam pipe at 95 degrees celsius so i repeat once again the steam maintains surface temperature of steam pipe at 95 degrees celsius so surface temperature of this pipe is 95 degrees celsius this is at 95 degrees assuming that tube is horizontal so we have already done it's a horizontal horizontal determine outside surface heat transfer coefficient so what i have to determine i have to determine h what they have asked i have to determine as that is what called as outside heat transfer coefficient outside heat transfer coefficient right the properties of oil at mean film temperature the properties of oil are these given these are the various properties cp mu rho k and nusselt numbers are given now all these properties that is cp mu rho k and nusselt number i have written over here and that will be required for solving the problem with this all given data with this all given data what we have to determine we have to determine h let's see what is the problem given this is the oil this is the oil tank which is maintained at 35 degrees celsius by using this tube what is inside the tube inside the tube we are having a steam which maintain the surface temperature of the tube at 95 degrees celsius so this is at 95 degrees celsius the tube temperature is at 95 degrees celsius oil temperature is at 35 degree celsius okay so heat will transfer from tube to the oil with this given data i have to determine h i have to determine what h and they are given a property as this one you can check out unit all the unit which is mentioned over here that is the required unit or we don't require any kind of conversion there so let's determine h how to determine h how we can determine h now you are knowing how to determine h h can be determined h can be determined very easily by using nusselt number h can be determined very easily by nusselt number how to determine hlc by k that is the standard formula hlc by k for the nusselt number okay now if i want to determine h i must know lc i must know k i so must know nusselt number out of that what is lc this is a horizontal tube as it is a horizontal tube diameter is the characteristic length so this is what diameter this is what diameter and that we are knowing k is given in the problem that is 0.133 watt per meter kelvin h i want to determine nusselt number i don't know ultimately i want to determine h for that purpose nusselt number lc and k must be known out of that lc and k is known 
Nussel number I don't know. So I have to determine Nussel number. How to determine Nussel number? By this particular equation. By this particular equation. So for Nussel number. For Nussel number. What we can do? Nussel number is equal to 0.53 GR into PR raised to 1 by 4. So Nussel number can be determined if I am knowing GR and PR. So let's go for determination of GR. Because I don't know the GR. So I have to determine a GR. How to determine a GR? We are knowing the GR formula. We are knowing the GR formula. What is the GR formula? G beta delta t rho square LC cube by mu square by mu square. That is the formula. In this particular formula, I have to check that what are the terms known and what are the terms unknown so that I can determine GR. Ultimately, I want to determine GR. G is known 9.81. Beta, I don't know. I have to determine. Delta T is known. Hot body temperature, cold body temperature is given to you. Rho is given in the given data. You can check out here. Rho is given. So, Rho is given. Characteristic length is known. Mu is known. Now, question is of beta only. Question is of beta, which is coefficient of volumetric expansion. Let's determine coefficient of volumetric expansion. As I have explained in the earlier lecture, that coefficient of volumetric expansion, that can be beta can be written as 1 upon mean frame temperature in Kelvin. That's the standard form. That's the standard form. So I want TF. What is TF? TF is average of hot body and cold body temperature. So 95 plus 35 by 2. So it must come near about 65 degrees Celsius. You can do the calculations. That must come 65 degrees Celsius. Right. Then after that, we have to convert this into Kelvin. So, plus 273. So, how much it comes? It will be equal to 338. 338 Kelvin. So, we have determined Tf in Kelvin. Let's determine a beta. Beta is equal to 1 upon Tf. That we are knowing a formula. 1 upon Tf. What is the Tf? Tf is 338. So, let me check how much it will come. So the answer is 0 0.00295 that the beta Kelvin raised to minus 1 that is the unit. Okay. Now this beta we have got it. Why we are determined beta? Because I have to keep it to the Grishoff number formula. In this particular formula I have to keep it. Let's put all the values into Grishoff number. So Grishoff number is equal to Grishoff number is equal to G. What is the G? G is 9.81. Beta. Beta is what? 0 0.00295 g beta delta t delta t is what 95 minus 35 g beta delta t into rho square rho is given to you 885 square rho square lc cube lc is the diameter and diameter is known to you 0 0.035 cube okay add mu square what is the mu square mu is 8.27 into 10 raised to minus 3 square. That's what we have got it. Then finally, how much GR comes? You have to calculate all those things and after calculation, it must come near about 855. 033.66. 033.66. Okay. So that's the Grashoff number. You have to do your own calculations. After getting a Grashoff number, now I have to determine Prandtl number because for determination of Nussel number I required Grishoff as well as Prandtl. So determine a Prandtl number. It is not given in the given data so I have to determine it. So for Prandtl number, for Prandtl number, what is Prandtl number? Prandtl number is mu cp by all the terms are given in the given data. All the terms are given. Mu is given. How much is the mu? Mu is 8.27 into 10 raised to minus 3. CP, CP is equal to 2005 by K, K is a 0.133. Okay, so parental number, the answer will come 124.39. That's the parental number we have determined. So now we have got GR and PR. Let's determine Nussel number now. Nussel number formula is known to you. Nussel number formula is this one, which is given in the problem. Nussel number is nothing but 
0.53 gr pr raised to 1 by 4 so i am going to put gr and i am going to put pr over here okay so let's put gr and pr 0.53 gr and pr gr is 8550033.66 into pr 124.39 raised to 1 by 4 from this i can determine a nusselt number and nusselt number comes to be 53.82 that will be nusselt number now why we are determining nusselt number why we are determining nusselt number because i want I want to determine heat transfer coefficient which is asked in the problem. For determination of heat transfer coefficient, I can use the formula as Nusselt number is HLC by K. Let's determine H now. Nusselt number already we have determined that is 53.82. So 53.82. H I have to determine. Characteristic length 0.035 character length by K. What is the K? K is 0.133. Determine H from this and H must come 204.98 Watt per meter square per kilo. That is the final answer which is asked in the problem. Okay. Thank you very much.